Ashley S. H. Moy is the Treasurer's Office Asian Pacific American Heritage Month awardee for outstanding service in business. She co-founded CAST21 after leading international award-winning teams to develop medical devices and healthcare biologics. Ashley has been invited by government bodies, healthcare Fortune 500 companies, and globally acclaimed publications to contribute to their forums, panels, and articles on healthcare and innovation around the world. She's a collegiate guest lecturer for business and entrepreneurship and participates on nonprofit boards related to manufacturing, finance, and equity. When she's not working, she enjoys good food, live music, and golf. So Ashley, congratulations and thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for this wonderful honor. Happy to be here. Well, let's start by talking about your business. So how did the idea of quick setting cast transition from a concept to practical application and ultimately successful business? <laughs> With a lot of hard work is the short answer. But to recap, our company Cast 20 Yuan creates these waterproof cast alternatives for people who have broken bones. And we really took our idea from concept through production into ultimately its successful business with a lot of help. We had some fantastic partners in manufacturing, product design, and healthcare who really helped us build the company to what it is today. So uh, you say lots of hard work, but let's put this in perspective here. I think a lot of people see a company, but they've never heard of it. They see it, it's successful. They tend to think of them as overnight success stories. Can you give us a little more background on uh, years put into this? Sure, absolutely. Cast 21, it just turned six actually, but we were developing the technology for a little while before that. So as you mentioned, sometimes it looks overnight like a really easy success, but definitely years of hard work put into it with lots of people contributing. Yeah, uh, no one accomplishes alone, but it does take a good leader to keep them all together. But we also know you worked uh, not just yourself, not just in your discipline, but uh, with others as well. So what benefits can we see from more interdisciplinary partnerships within the engineering community? Oh my goodness, I think the solutions are, are endless with this. The data shows that the more diverse of a team that you have, the better outputs that you have. So I'm really glad to see from academia to industry, more integrations of engineering teams. Right. And so you mentioned diversity. It's something our office is very concerned, uh, focused on. Uh, when you talk about diversity within your company, what do you look for in terms of different kinds of backgrounds? We do all of our hiring blind, which has been wonderful because our whole team is actually minority, which is very uncommon for a STEM business organization. So we hire purely on talent techniques and we look for people who are purely clever. Great. Well, it, uh, your model has worked so far. Let's look a little forward. Since growing your company from the research park at uh, the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign, and now moving into Chicago-based location. Where do we go from here? What are your future goals you have for yourself and for CAST21? Well, very excited that CAST21 is continuing to move and grow. So we're continuing our geographical expansion around the world and everyone can expect new products and solutions from us in the healthcare space. Right. Well, we'll look forward to seeing those. Um, but you know, what I found with good leaders, they also train their successors. And a lot of people who've had success are focused on helping people come behind them. So for someone who's watching this today, who sees what you've done and thinks, I'd like to do something like that, what advice would you give future university students or future entrepreneurs in pursuing their creative ideas as a business? I would encourage anybody looking to start an organization, especially out of university, to define their own success. All through your collegiate experience, you have people telling you what to do, giving you a score and a mark for all of your work. And this will be the first opportunity that you have to set your own rules. Don't be afraid of that. Uh, I love that advice. I think, you know, up until college, everyone's told that you need to go to good college, you need to get good grades, and the path is charted. But once you leave school, you're never going to stop learning. But once you leave school, there are so many different paths available. And I think some people get uh, a little overwhelmed by all those choices. So, Absolutely. Um, any uh, any other advice before we wrap up here, Ashley? <laughs> Don't be afraid to ask for help. Uh, that is great. I think a lot of people, especially successful people, feel that they have all the answers themselves uh, and don't have to ask, but we get a lot more done together. And so Absolutely. Thank you very much for taking the time here today. 
Ashley Moy is the Treasurer's Office Asian Pacific American Heritage Month awardee for outstanding service in business. It's clear that uh, you have done a lot in a short time. We look forward to hearing about more successes in the future. Thank you so much for the opportunity.